a few of our community members have asked for a YouTube intro. So we're going to create one that looks like this. Join me. You're going to access invideo.io. I'll include the link on the description below. And then you're going to land on this page and where it says search, you're going to search for intro. And then you are going to be given a number of templates that are available. So you see there's 310 templates available for you to create an intro. So you can move your mouse to have a look at them and scroll down until you find the one you want. If you want the intro or the template to play, you just move your mouse closer to the arrow and then it will play. It will show you how it's going to look like eventually when you decide to open it and start working on it. Once you've decided whichever template you would like to go with, we are going to use this one because we're creating an intro for a math and physics channel. You just double click on it and then the template opens like this. And it shows you how it's going to look like. It shows you the time. It also shows you the available dimension you would like to use. So if you wanted to use the 16 by nine or the square or the vertical, you are more than welcome to click on it and then see how it looks like. And then you choose the one that you want to play with the dimension by selecting use the template. So we're gonna, um, use the 16 by 9 dim dimension and then we're going to click on use the template then the system loads the template for you to start editing and then it looks like this it is fairly fairly straightforward and um, the big thing that you need to know is that it works with layers which are on your right hand side and it also works on a timeline at the bottom of the page where you can change different scenes, where you can change music, where you can add voiceover if you want to add voiceover as well. So to start editing, you can use um, your playhead to see how it looks like and place it wherever you want to place it. But we want to start editing from scene one. So we would select scene one and then it would give us the layers that are on scene one. So if you wanted to change the text on scene one or whichever scene, you just click on the text layer and then it highlights it in blue and then you start editing to make it your own. And then it's changed. So if you want to play the scene to see how it looks like, you can move your head player to the beginning and play it like that. And then you pause it wherever you want to pause it if you're happy with what you're seeing. So if you wanted to change the time on each scene, you just click on the scene that you want to edit time on. And you can either move your mouse so that it shows these two back-to-back -back arrows. And you move it to the time that you want to have on the scene like that. You can see it's going to three seconds. Or you could click on this little pencil to change the time on each scene. You could also click on the delete scene, duplicate a scene. If you click on timeline, it will show you all of the scene as a timeline like this. And if you want to go back to the editing, you just click on scenes. So that is how you edit each scene. So I just want to show you how to change a picture. With the second scene, there's a young lady at school and we would like to change this media or this picture. What you would then do is you click on the media layer so that it's highlighted like that. And you'd go to the image um, repository and you're going to look for an image that you're going to replace the young lady with or whatever image you'd like to um, use. So you can select if you want to include bing.com results or stock results or you can untick them and you can just search for stock that's available on in video you just click on search and you say um, study for example and you press enter and you get to view the different kinds of 
images that are available that you can use to change this particular picture. So say we want to run with this one. You click and you hold and you drag it and you drop it on the media. This box is going to open up to ask you, do you want a new layer or do you want to replace? So we want to replace and then the software would then replace the video, I mean the media to whatever you would like to do. Then you change the text to whatever you would like to change it to like we, we just did now. And then you go on and edit all of these scenes the way that you want to have them. What I want to show you is how to change music. Say for instance, this music that's playing you don't like and it doesn't do it for you. You know, it's not vibing for you. All you then do is you go to, you click on your music and then you go search for music on this menu bar and you select music. There's different genres that are available. Say we wanted hip hop or we wanted R&B. So you could scroll jazz, oh my goodness, jazz anyway. You could scroll to whatever genre that you want. So let's select R&B for example. And then um, it would give you different kinds of music that you could use to replace that music that's there. So you click on the play button to listen to the song until you find the one that you like. Once you've found the one that you like, you click on the three ellipses or the three dots and you just say replace music and then as you can see the software is saying they will replace the background music do you want to continue just click on yes or the new music that you've selected will be replacing the old one that came with the template and then it will play it the way that you want to play and um, the last thing I want to show you is if you want to replace your logo. So you're going to go to your uploads and you're going to upload a logo that you want to use on all of your scenes at the bottom of the page. Moving to the menu side and then where it shows project logos, you just hover and you say add this logo to all scenes that have a logo. That way, from the first scene, the logo is going to be replaced with the logo that you've just added. And basically, that's it. You're done with your design. All you do now is you're going to go to download and share. What you must just be aware of is this is a free version um, of the software that we're using. So your design is going to come with this little in-video um, that's showing on the video at the bottom of the page. If you want to remove this watermark, then you need to upgrade. You can um, upgrade using a link on the description below for my affiliate link. You can use, use that link to upgrade and remove the logo, but they do have nice options where you get stock, stock um, options, stock videos, and there's a whole lot that's available if you do decide to upgrade uh, to the in-video paid version. And the big thing is it takes away the watermark. However, if you feel like me, you're finding your feet, the watermark is not that in your face and you can use it possibly for yourself. If you're designing for somebody else, then of course your, your client will have to agree to that. But yeah, it comes like it comes with the watermark. Once you're done, you click on download and share. And it will show you that it's going to download uh, a good quality video. The 1080 version is a paid version. So we're going to stick with the 7020 and it's going to load. And then it's going to take time and it, it will tell you uh, when it's done that you are free to download they will also email you to say that your video is ready for download so at the moment it's two percent there you go once it has finished rendering your download option is going to be available then you just click on download it will download to your downloads on your computer like this one here 
and then your video is ready. You can share it to your social media. You can watch the next video that is teaching you how to create um, videos using text. I'll see you in the next one.